Welcome back, everyone. Here's a look at some of the stories you need to know to get your day started. An Oroville man is waking up behind bars this morning after a shooting that killed one person and injured two others. Sierra County deputies arrested John Thomas Conway of Oroville. They say Conway shot at a group of people in the Poker Flat area of Sierra County. And during the arrest, deputies say Conway tried to hit wildlife officers with an off-road vehicle and exchange shots with those deputies. New overnight, police are investigating after officers found someone dead in the street with a gunshot wound. Reading police say the call came in around 1140 Tuesday night. Now, this was on Medview Drive, just west of the airport. Officers have cleared the scene, but say they are still investigating. The Reading Electric Utility today kicks off what it calls the annual patrol and infrared inspection. Crews will be out and about in the utility service area, getting an up-close look at its transmission facilities to check for any problems or hazards that could trigger power failures. Customers are reminded REU crews will be working in clearly marked vehicles so you will know if and when they're in your area. This morning, Action News Now is working to learn more information on what Butte County deputies, sheriff's deputies, are calling a disturbance at a Palermo home. Action News Now was on scene and our crew saw a large number of deputies with guns gathered outside the home on Oakwood Lane, blocking off a stretch of that road. But deputies made no arrest. New this morning, crews responded quickly to get a wildland fire just west of Glen County under control. Fire crews and aircraft worked to contain the nail fire. It broke out in the Grindstone Ranger District of the Mendocino National Forest. That's about 30 miles west of Willows. At last count, the fire was at least 25 acres. Investigators are working to learn the cause of that fire. And there are now over 3 million cases of the coronavirus here in the United States, with many states, in fact, more than half the nation, seeing a surge in infections. Several states also saw a record number of hospitalizations. Tuesday, Texas reported over 10,000 new COVID-19 cases in just a single day. And the number of cases in Georgia has officially passed 100,000. Happening this morning, the White House Coronavirus Task Force will hold a briefing at the Department of Education. That briefing could shed light on plans to reopen schools for the fall semester. At the White House Tuesday, the president said he would put pressure on state governors to reopen schools.